I've just been to a friend's house, picked up this Atomic, very beautiful Atomic, makes lovely coffee. The problem is, has absolutely no pressure when it comes to steaming the milk, no pressure at all. Tried unscrewing this, unblocking the nozzles, didn't really make any difference at all. And the one thing I did notice is that this top handle, I can't do it while holding the phone, it spins all the way round, which makes me think that the top seal is worn out and possibly that is where the pressure is going. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start trying to unblock any tubes or anything like that is I'm just going to change this top seal. Be any number of reasons why there's no pressure on this machine. One of the first things I notice is the steam leaking from here. And I can see that this knob is cracked. That's not going to help the matter. Here's the group handle and the coffee grinds from this machine, which works perfectly. And you can see that the indentation is right in the center of the coffee grinds. If you compare that with this machine here, it's very, very one-sided, which makes me think that the top filter plate is probably blocked in some way. So we're gonna take that off and have a little look at it. Top screws did actually come out on this machine, but often when you try and get the screws out, you'll find that they just snap off, which doesn't actually affect the machine at all. But um, these ones did come out. The next thing you've got to do is try and get some form of screwdriver in these little holes here without bending the metal or the aluminium and just gently lever this seal up. Um, let's leave this plate out, this one comes up very easily. Let's have a little look, that seal is knackered basically. Got to replace that, but let's have a little look and see what's underneath this. Well, <laughs> there's your answer. There is your answer, that's why this machine is struggling. Get that. We're gonna have a good old clean out of that and see if we can get this machine working again. The way these seals go in is you lay the plate in first, then you can tighten these two up, and then the seal will just fit in there and you'll push it around with a little screwdriver until it's clipped in all the way around. Originally, Atomics was sold with two coffee baskets, a small one and a large one, and also a closed group, i.e., something with no holes in it. And if you ever want to test whether your toilet's got any leaks anywhere, if you put a closed group in there, put some water in there, that will show you if the machine is leaking. So we're just gonna do that on this machine, just to see if there are any steam leaks that we can't pick up during the normal process of making coffee. With the closed group in there, you could see steam leaking out of here, which basically means these seals need to be replaced. There shouldn't be any steam leaking out of anywhere other than the steam release knob, or here when you have a closed group in there. So we're just going to try replacing these seals here. You can get a complete seal set from Bond Trading in um, Oxford Street, Sydney, Australia for $16 and that will include the top seal, the seal, this seal here, and all the seals you need to replace here. We're not going to try replacing all of these seals, we're just going to replace the three silicon seals inside there to start off. This red ball is just held on by one screw, so you just undo that screw. And then this should screw off. And what you're going to need to do is get a pair of mole grips on there. But rather than damaging the metal, what I normally do is just tie a dish towel around. And then that should just screw off in the normal way. Once you've loosened this bit with the pliers, it should just screw straight off. Don't forget to clean all of these bits before you put them back on. Needs a good little clean. Then you want to put the um, steam knob back on and just keep screwing it out and eventually all of these seals here the whole thing will come out in one go hopefully like that okay and then you want to go about replacing all of these seals which come in the seal set so let's let's do that next just a word of warning before you get carried away okay the seal sets do come with seals that go in here and also a seal that goes in there but before you get tempted to get a pair of pliers or spanner on this fitting here and then do it, just bear in mind one thing, every single one of these I've undone has always snapped and sheared, which entails drilling the whole thing out and recutting the threads. So if your machine is not leaking badly from here or here, my advice is do not get involved in trying to take that steam arm off you're more likely to run into a whole series of problems and end up having to buy a whole new piece of this, drilling out the hole, recutting the threads. So 
If you don't want to take that risk, do not be tempted to try and undo that piece there. Easy to see why this particular atomic was leaking. As soon as you type to take these rubber washers off, they just disintegrated, so they're obviously not doing much. We're just going to replace all of those washers on the pack that you get from Bond Trading. The handwritten instructions it tells you exactly the order to put them on, so we're going to do that next. Interestingly enough, this one has actually got one extra washer. When you buy the washers from Bond Trading, you get a brass washer here that goes on first, and then you get these three silicon washers one, two, three. They go on next. On this one here, you seem to have had an extra washer here, but we're not. We're just going to um, ignore that and, and do what the uh, new pack say. Maybe it's a design improvement. Put this back together. Take this brass rod and screw that in a little bit first. Then you add the brass washer first. Put that over. And these three um, silicon washers here, you're probably going to need a tiny watchmaker screwdriver or something to push them down. Do one at a time and just push them down into that hole. Okay, they're quite a tight fit and they need to be because obviously this machine is working under pressure. Okay, so one at a time, just push them down. And then when you've got all three of those on, that there will screw on. And you should have no more leaks from that fitting. Make sure you clean the inside of this before you screw it back on. And if you're struggling to get in there, you can just get a cotton ball bud, cut it in half and put it in an electric drill and then just use that to clean the inside of that. That surface there should be nice and clean so it's making a good seal with the rubber seal. We're just trying that machine now with a different uh, coffee basket, but looking at this coffee basket, I actually think this is a replica. This is not a genuine atomic coffee basket. For starters, it's curved there. Um, and secondly, the lift is not flat. It's almost like curved up, which is possibly why it dented so easily, but I suspect this is not a genuine atomic coffee basket and that is one of the reasons that this machine has failed. Once again you can get these coffee baskets um, from Bond Trading in Oxford Street, Sydney, Australia. So what we'll do is we will replace this coffee basket for this customer. Um, if I can see there's actually a hole in there. We'll replace it, we've replaced the seals and hopefully that should um, lead to a good coffee. Look, you can see the hole in there. That's weird. Okay, how's that feeling? It's so much better. So we've replaced all the seals in here, got a new steam knob on, we've got a new coffee basket in there. Um, I'm not getting any water coming out from there anymore. There's no steam leakage from here and there's no steam leakage from there. So we should now have full pressure on this machine. It's a different machine altogether. It's um, it has transformed it. It has absolutely transformed it. Decent coffee. Always make sure you heat the mugs first. In the commercial coffee kitchen, they always put the mugs on top of the coffee machine, which is always warm. You don't want to put hot coffee in cold cups. see the steam coming from that even after we steam the milk. Get some warm strong coffee.